How's it going? Day six on taking this house down. Uh, just made the first cut on this back side of the wall. We're gonna try to take this wall out and kind of section out and be careful because I got my well pipe right there that we really don't want to hit. So got my buddy John here help me out. Say what's up. And uh, here we go. Got the first cut in. We'll go ahead and try to pull out the first second. Good bite. All right, we're moving right along. Check out this, that's a weird shot. Got both these walls down on each side. We just got this back wall standing, leaning on the porch. I got a little nub right there. I need to remove from the brick house, but just sitting on the foundation. Uh, able to sell, save the well pipe, no damage or anything. Got to the section that was right in front of it and figured let's just push it in the hole. I'll use the backhoe and get it out. That way we weren't worried about catching it from landing on that. So it's just this back wall standing. It's got a hard lean on it and uh, down to just the deck kind of holding it up, the posts that are there. We just dropped what was left of uh, the side wall and just kind of been sectioning it out, dropping piece at a time, getting on the bobcat or backhoe, put, picking it up with the forks, driving it back to that big hole I dug, throwing it in the hole and I'll have one big fire, but a lot of it, it's got this old same blown in insulation that was up in the attic is the same stuff that's in the walls so it's pretty nasty cutting through trying to find a spot in between the studs and then it just snows nasty dust everywhere but it's sure better than that pink fiberglass insulation or asbestos that's for sure so about to haul this away and drop this last bit of wall now as we're tearing down the back of this house Check this out, this is crazy. See if I can get this on video. I swear there's a bald eagle flying out here. We've gone through stages of weapons. I used a sawzall and then I moved up to this pole saw chainsaw and that worked real good and then had to break out the big guns use the old farm boss 290 still this is not planned but i think it's going to be our best route now so i got my truck hooked up to it i just read somebody's comment they said whatever you do just don't hook your truck up to it but i did it pull the whole barn down it worked pretty good Got everything disconnected and uh, I think it's best to just get it on the ground and deal with it than have it squish one of us. So uh, here we go. Heck yeah. Me and my buddy John, we're a good team. We uh, we used to work a factory job together for many years and we'd always have to do sketchy stuff together and uh, 
put each other's fingers on the line and you gotta have good trust in each other to do some good teamwork so definitely appreciate his help but got this all dropped down part of the foundation there broke but if you look down there it's got a hard hook there where this foundation was pretty pretty bad so got a bunch of clean up here to do and I think this is pretty wild just realize this on this porch once we got this wall down here you look down in here they built this foundation wall but it's hollow underneath this concrete where I don't know what's in there but it's a big hollow hole and me and him were just saying, surely somebody put like a note or something before they put this pad on here. So that's going to be interesting to see. But we've got a lot to clean up. And uh, on another day, it'll be foundation work clearing that up. But everybody's got all our fingers and toes so far. Look at that, ain't that a totally different view. Wow. Crazy. Thanks again, John.